Hi folks, Dan Prepper here with another gun news and safe act update. Uh, today, there's I got three major items. Um, the first is, uh, it's kind of piggybacked on my video from yesterday, if you look at the gun news and safe act update, with the story on ABC News from Diane Sawyer. Now, she appeared on The View to kind of push that story last week. And today on The View, uh, mostly in response to that, Dana Loesch, who is a nationally syndicated radio host, and she has a show called The Dana Show on the Blaze Network um, and is a staunch advocate of the Second Amendment and the Constitution, is going to be a co-host on The View. Now, I would never advocate watching The View, but please check out The View today because Dana Loesch, that should make for some great fireworks. And if The View's ratings blow up, then maybe they go back down tomorrow, they'll see that they should put on... Dana Loesch and people with opposing viewpoints to their normal liberal panel a little more often. So check out the view today. Now, in response to uh, the announcement that Dana Loesch was going to be co-hosting, uh, the group Moms, or oh, what is it, Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense, which is funded by Mayor Michael, former Mayor Michael Bloomberg uh, and his group, Mayors Against Illegal Guns, it has been protesting hard, and they have been assaulting Dana Loesch all week. They've been making ridiculous accusations. Listen, the liberal playbook involves this. If you become uh, fairly well-known and you speak out for the Bill of Rights, for the Constitution, for the Second Amendment especially, then you are in the pocket, you work for the NRA or you work for the uh, gun manufacturers or whatever it might be. That's the ridiculous idea. When people say, the, you know, the NRA lobby, you know, it's not the NRA lobby, you bunch of halfwits. You have no idea what you're talking about. The NRA doesn't bilk me out of money and then go support a bunch of people I don't support. The NRA is made up of a whole bunch of individuals who understand what the Second Amendment is for. Okay, it's not the NRA lobby. It's not some big, powerful lobby that's out to get you. It's a bunch of people who, when the NRA, um, you know, we, we band together and we contact our senators and our representatives, and when we kill bills, it's not because the NRA is a bunch of money. It's because a whole bunch of us contacted the senators and the representatives and whoever, and they said, you know, this is going to be a political suicide to do this. So please, um, groups like this, this uh, Shannon Watts is the leader of this Moms for Moms Demand Actions for Gun Sense. Um, she has make, been making all kinds of personal assaults against Dana Loesch. Please support Dana Loesch today and watch the view if you would. And uh, if you want to take a moment, nothing hateful, but find Michelle or Shannon Watts on, you know, anywhere, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or whatever you do, and just let her know what you think of Moms for gun sense or moms demand action for gun sense and the way that they attack people with opposing viewpoints. Second story I have, Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York, who I hate him more than the rest of you guys outside of New York do, believe me. This guy thought when he launched the SAFE Act that that was going to launch his presidential bid for 2016. He thought this was a winning issue for him. He is an idiot, he was wrong, and he is now looking, staring dead in the face at the evidence that he has no chance in 2016. Quinnipiac University just released a poll of Florida uh, voters, and, and they polled these Florida voters on who you would most like to see as the 2016 Democratic presidential candidate. Hillary Clinton came in at a whopping 64%. That speaks volumes on how stupid Democratic voters are, by the way, if Hillary Clinton is leading your pack by that much. Joe Biden came in next at 9%. Then there was a couple of scrubs, and then way down at 1%, Governor Cuomo. Congratulations. How's that presidential run working out for you off the SAFE Act? Not so hot. The only bad news about that is I'm going to get stuck with him now for another 20 years. Thanks a lot. Um, and now thirdly, the last thing I have, this is a little bit of an old story, but because the Super Bowl was yesterday, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Daniel Defense is a small arms manufacturer, and they – uh, wanted to run an ad during the Super Bowl. I'm going to link that ad in the description of this video so you can just click on it and watch the, the ad that they wanted to run. The NFL policy, by the way, the NFL did not look at this and say we can't run that. The NFL's policy dictated that it could not be run. The NFL's policy is that any, um, any advertisement cannot be run if it features 
um, firearms or guns or violence or anything like that. So, you know, you can run all the getting liquored up ads you want during the Super Bowl, you know, and that have led to countless DWI um, deaths and accidents and injuries, far more than any injuries or deaths caused by um, firearms. But you can't run firearms things because, quite frankly, the NFL is a big liberal hippie haven, and they don't know what they're doing any more than most of the mass media and big outlets do. So uh, this Daniel Defense ad was not allowed to run. I want you guys to see that. It's nonsense. Uh, the NFL's policy is nonsense. And don't be afraid to contact the NFL. I mean, this is – they have no problem, by the way, with Bob Costas running that halftime rant against the Second Amendment and legal gun owners – because of a crazy NFL player who murdered his uh, his wife and uh, himself, but they have a problem with the opposing viewpoint. That is my whole problem with, with liberals and progressives in general, is they preach tolerance, but they are absolutely intolerant of any viewpoint other than their own. So I'm Van Prepper. That's been a very short update. Listen, guys, do me a favor. Go to my friend Bush Hunt's channel. Bush Hunt is changing. He is doing a logo for me. Now, this Punisher logo is awesome. Awesome. I love it, but it is not mine. And Bush Hunt is designing a logo for my channel uh, as we speak. He sent me some stuff already. It looks really good. I've asked him to look at a couple other things just, you know, for comparison's sake. And uh, I will be unveiling a new logo here very soon, Lord willing, and uh, Bush Hunt willing. And uh, I just want you to, to uh, please go to Bush Hunt's channel. I will link that in the description. Uh, Tell him that Van Prepper sent you. I thank you guys very much. Have an awesome day. And I am Van Prepper, and this has been Safe Act and Gun News for today, February 3rd, 2014. Happy shooting, guys.